Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at handcrafted artist quality paints from the store Eventually Everything Mixes. The artisan behind these paints is Ame Binara Kim. She is based in Germany and she also draws and paints beautiful art. Many of her pieces feature her adorable cat Piki. I was pretty excited when she opened her shop, as I had been following her paint-making process since the beginning. The colors I got from her are Copper Blue, Swamp Green, Raw Sienna Monte Amiata, and Burnt Green Earth. Ame also sent me a generous dot card and a very unique split pan featuring a combo that she named Tiamat. Her packaging is really pretty. I love how everything is handmade and the shop sticker has great art on it. Ami obviously figured me out since she used donut and cat washi tapes to wrap the order. Her paint swatches have the pigment and paint information on the back and the paint wrappers have paint name, pigment and or toxicity information. I added her paints in my swatch sketchbook, with all the wrappers and swatches in a small envelope. On the other page, I'll swatch the pans and the dot card she sent me. I asked her about the dot card and the colors on it are Epidote, Celadonit and Côte d'Azur Violet. Her store is pretty recent and features unique color mixes and basic colors including a primary triad and earth tones. The main feature of her paints, in my opinion, is that they are made 100% without animal products. Often, paint makers use honey in their watercolors to preserve the paint and make it easier to rewet. Honey not being vegan, Ame has come up with her own special formula, which includes gum arabic, distilled water, clove oil, organic rice or corn syrup, glycerin, and synthetic oxgall. No filler or brightener are used in her paints and all the pigments she uses have good or excellent light fastness. The paint rewets well and the colors are absolutely beautiful. Since she uses clove oil, her paints have a light scent to them that I really like. I did some paint mixes to explore the range of colors available from these pans and they all mixed beautifully. The colors are rich and the granulation is fascinating. I love how the colors have depth and they fill up space with so much subtle variations. Amy's paints are only one aspect of her project, which also includes painting workshops and sketchbook clubs. One of her goals is to bring handcrafted, good quality and affordable paints to more people. She also wants to help and encourage those who shy away from art because they don't think they can do it, that they don't have the skills or the talent. I think those are brilliant ideas and I hope Amy will be able to grow her project forward. As I usually do, I set out to paint a drawing with these paints. I opted for something more illustrative and less of an observation sketch. 
I drew this little nighttime forest scene and inked it with waterproof sepia brown ink. Then I painted it using only the five pans crafted by Amy. These colors complemented the ink color and the subject of this painting well, and I love how it came out. The texture contributes to the storybook feel of this painting. As I progress through painting this drawing, I realized that it made a very poor use of the mesmerizing granulation that is a part of these paints. When I was done, I took out a much larger sheet of watercolor paper and set it up to paint an abstract, wet-in-wet -wet landscape. I have very little experience painting this way, but I think this painting came out decent enough to showcase the way these paints granulate. There's a moody, foggy quality here that I really enjoy. I had a good time painting with these paints from Eventually Everything Mixes. They are beautifully unique and it shows that Amé has put a lot of work and thought into them. Her handcrafted paints also have the extra characteristic of being completely vegan and cruelty free. I will include the link to her shop in the description box and I invite you to check it out. Have a great day, bye bye!